This is Solar Hills once again. My name is Elder Best Montgomery Soma right here in the midst. The program is Echoes of Grace. Mr. De Pinto is the man in charge of our technical department. Of course, our CEO here at Holy Hills Radio. From the management and the staff of Holy Hills Radio, we want to wish all of you a happy, happy Christmas. May God be with you. May God take you from glory to glory. We are still in the Christmas mood. We are going to talk a little bit about Christmas. The Christmas story never gets old. It's replete with a lot of information. Right here at Holy Hell's Radio. The Bible says Mary got pregnant with Jesus through a mysterious means. Through an unthinkable way. You see, in life, there are things that only God can do for you. Every human being gets to a point where he needs a miracle. The world was in darkness. The world was in darkness looking for a savior. Anyone who qualified to be a savior must be somebody who is pure because he had to sacrifice his blood. And however the savior was going to come into the world, he was going to be contaminated. Because he was going to be born by a man and a woman. And by a virtue of Adam's son, whoever will have, who is, if a man sleeps with a woman, that person was going to come up, the, the offspring was going to come up with sin, sin nature in him. But God had a master plan. How was a human being going to come onto this earth and not be uh, having a sinful nature in him? How was that going to happen? The angel appeared to Mary and made a very crucial statement, made a very pertinent statement. That the Spirit of God shall come upon you. The Spirit of God shall hover around you. The Spirit of God will cover the baby even in your womb. So Jesus Christ was going to come onto this earth not through the natural means of birth. Because the Adamic nature is passed through the man to the woman. The, the seed that goes from a man to a woman is what con contains that contaminated nature. And Jesus Christ was going to come not through uh, the regular means of birth. So Mary got pregnant with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. A decree went out that everybody should go to their hometown so they, shall, they could be counted. It was all part of God's plan. It was all part of God's plan. There are things that have happened in your life. Sometimes you look back and you want to consider, you want to find out why it even happened in the first place. All I can say is that it was all part of God's plan. All the things that you planned that did not work out the way you planned it, it was all part of God's plan. The way 2019 went is not the same way you planned for it. December 31st of 2018, you had such fantastic plans, but the plans did not work the way you planned it. So as they were going to be counted, Mary was going to her own hometown to be counted together with Joseph. 
she was fully pregnant with Jesus of Nazareth. Hey! That God should even come into the womb of an ordinary woman is a miracle on its own. If Mary could carry a whole God in his womb, then I don't know the vision that you are carrying, that you will be able to do it. If Mary could carry a whole God in her womb, I don't know the vision that you have, but it's possible. And the time came as they were going. The time came for Mary to give birth. The Bible says they went everywhere looking for a place for Jesus Christ to be given birth to. They found none. Wow. The creator of the whole universe. All the galaxies. All the stars. All the rivers. All the land. Every land belonged to him. All the inns, according to the Bible, were full. There was no place for Jesus to be born. What a sad, sad situation. That the savior of the world came into a, a world that he has created and there was no place for him. What a sad situation that we did not have any place for the savior. They went from place to place looking for a place for the Savior. Each place was filled. The Savior of the world was about to make entrance into this world. This sinful world of ours and yet there was no place for him to be given birth to. It's such a pathetic story. They all had things that have filled those places so there was no space for Jesus. No space for the Savior to be born. We have time for other things. We have space for other things but not for Jesus. The devil didn't want Jesus Christ to be given birth to. This was the man who was coming to crush him under his feet. He wanted the baby to remain in Mary's womb. The devil doesn't want you to give birth to the plans that you have. So anytime that you make a resolution to do something great, so many obstacles will come your way. You are carrying Jesus in your womb. You are carrying some great plans in your womb. You are carrying some great plans. You want to create some big mega business. You want to win great souls for God. Mommy. But each time that you plan it, there are so many obstacles that come your way. Passion. That is how it goes. That is how the world goes. That whenever you have good intentions, the obstacles will just pop up from nowhere to the extent that sometimes you feel like giving up. The savior of the world was coming into the world and we were not ready to welcome him. We were filled with so many things, so many issues. Your personal life, have you made space for Jesus? It's easy to read some of these stories and feel guilty that why these people were not given space for Mary to come and give birth. Your time is so choked that you don't have a, a space for Jesus. But one day you're going to leave this world with all the time that you did not use for him and give account of the time that he gave you. Space for Jesus Christ? Do you have space for him in terms of your finances? Do you have space for him in terms of your, your, your gift and your talents? 
your, your gifts and talents are so preoccupied, using it for other things. And the one who gave it to you, you don't have time to use your talent for him. There was no space for them to give birth to Jesus. And that was a tragedy. That was a serious tragedy. You have a limited time here on earth. Anything that has a beginning has an end. You have a space. You have a space of time that you are going to occupy. There is going to be a time that you are going to live. The talent, the gift that you have, how much are you using it to bless the name of God? All the ins were filled. The same way applies to our personal life. Every area of our life is filled. Our money is filled. It has so many things to do. Our talent is filled. It has so many things to do, but not for Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And you can do everything for yourself, but you will never realize fulfillment. True joy, true peace will not come to you because you are not using it for that for which it was given to you. You have talent, you have gifts. Things that have been deposited into your womb, into your spirit. Things for which people need to benefit. You are preoccupied with so many things. This is Holy Health Radio, your champion station, definitely your super duper radio station. They were looking for an inn, a place for Jesus. They were looking for a place. Tonight, Jesus Christ is looking for a place in your life. Which area are you open for him? Your time is so preoccupied. Your money has other things to do. You have your own set of priorities. And one day it's going to be over. One day that privilege will be taken away from you. The privilege to do something for God is going to be taken away from you. for a place for Jesus. That the savior of the world, the one who owns every land, every space, they were looking for a place for him. They were looking for a place. This evening, a place is being sought for Jesus. He wants to come into your heart. He wants to come and reign in your life. He wants to be the center of your life. Is there a space for him? You are the soul, soul, long after me. Oh, you are Lord, I'm Lord. This I am. He's coming with blessings, but you're not giving him space. The space is preoccupied. The Bible says, I stand at the door and knock. If any man shall open me, I shall come and dine with him. He's looking for a space to come and occupy your heart, the center of your life. He's looking for a space in your heart. He's looking to be the center of your life. Will you give him that space? This Christmas, one thing that he's asking from you is a space in your heart. He went everywhere looking for a place for Jesus. He's looking everywhere in your life looking for a place to occupy. He wants to be the center. If 
you are going to give him the chance to be the center of your life. He comes with peace. He comes with joy. He comes with fulfillment. Without him, you can do everything, achieve everything, and still not have the joy of life. He's looking for you. He's knocking at the door of your heart. Seeking to occupy that seat. Seeking to be given birth to in your life. Are you going to give him that space? Are you going to give him the chance to have a relationship with you? The only relationship that is going to last. The relationship that is going to transcend time. to come into your life to forgive you of your sins the burden of sin nothing can wash it away your past sins that is weighing heavily on you that is making you feel guilty he wants to come into your life and forgive you your sins on this Christmas he wants to come and have a relationship with you trying to obey the law and be perfect before him he's coming to give you the gift of righteousness he who knew no sin became sin that we shall become the righteousness of God in him The forgiveness of sins is something that only Christ can give unto us. You can do everything for the, I mean, for the forgiveness of sins. Sometimes we feel the gate of our sins, our past sins, and our present sins. We don't know how to relieve ourselves. We don't know how to get rid of the burden of sin. He comes in and brings you forgiveness of sins. Was look, he's looking for a place in your heart. The Bible says he came to his own and his own received him not. But as many as received him, he gave them the right to become children of God. Once you, are, you allow him, he will give you the right to become a child of God. And the privileges that come with it. He's looking for you this evening. That is a privilege that you should not spare. This is a privilege that you should take advantage of. Looking for a place in your heart. He's looking for you. He's looking for you. He's looking for you to have a relationship with you. And once you allow him, he's going to change your destiny. He's going to have a relationship with you, the forgiveness of sin. Believe you me, believe you me, believe you me, there's going to be a day of accountability. He's looking for you so that the, on the day of accountability, you shall have a better place. Our Savior came into this world and there was no place for him. Sad, sad story. That the owner of the world came into this world and he was rejected. The people had no idea who they were turning out. Sometimes you will be careful the way you treat people. You have no idea who you might be dealing with. You are looking at the present, but God is looking at the future. There's 
therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. That is for those, those who have accepted him, he brings no condemnation. He comes in to forgive sins. The power of God comes to make you a child of God. Children born not of natural descent, but by the power of the Holy Ghost. Are you going to open up to him? Are you going to allow him? Are you going to allow him to be the center of your life? This Christmas, the best gift you can give to him is your heart. That he will raise supreme in your heart. If you would allow him to be the center of your life, there shall be fulfillment, there shall be joy, there shall be peace in your life. In spite of all the obstacles, all the calamities that might, might probably come even in your life, there shall be peace in the midst of turmoil. Oh, Jesus is in the house. Jesus is in the house. And he's looking for a place in your heart. Open up to him. And God always has a way out. When Jesus was rejected, there were some people whose hearts were open. Shepherds, ordinary shepherds. People that human beings would despise. What a mighty, mighty God that we serve. What a mighty God that we serve. He opened the heart of shepherds. This evening, my prayer is that your heart will be open. Just like the shepherds who accept Jesus and give him a place to be given birth to. What gift do you have to offer the great savior? Jesus is looking for a place in your heart. A birth place is being sought for Jesus in your heart. Are you going to turn him down? He was going to be a sheep. He was going to die on the cross and use his blood to sacrifice for us.
Christmas. It's still Christmas and we're reminding you that Jesus is looking for a place to be given birth to. The best place you can give to him is your heart. I want you to know that there was an opportunity for you to make things right because there's going to be a day that there was nothing you can do. There was going to be a day that you will regret decisions that you did not make even as of now. about to wrap up. Once again, I want to thank you for being with us from Holy Hills Radio. Would you open up for Jesus Christ of Nazareth? Would you allow him to be the champion of your heart? shepherd willingly accepted Jesus Christ and gave him a place for him to be given birth to. Are you going to be like the shepherds? The blessings of God will follow you. Once again, a Merry Christmas to you and your family. My name is Adam Bismarck Mary Soma. Thank you so much for joining us and be with us. God bless you until we meet next week. God bless. Oh, c'est ça, le bétail, le bétail.